if you were going to launch a CBD brand yourself, what would you do to get traffic and sales like today if you didn't have a huge budget to work with? Um, <clears throat> well, samples are everything, right? So I think uh, you and I met, um, I, think it was, I think it was last year, right? Yeah. Um, because I had like a, a fucked back and I, I literally couldn't walk for more than 50 paces without having to crouch down and kind of recover, get up, walk another 50 paces. And I had to come from Sydney and I had to come over to see you on you know, a 14-hour flight. I was beside myself. I'd never actually taken CBD before, right? I've taken lots of party prescriptions in a previous life, but we'll talk about that later on or not. But I'd never taken CBD, right? So I remember getting back to your place and sweating like a fat chick because I'm like in so much pain. And I remember just going in that fucking beautiful voice of yours going, have you tried CBD, Nate? I'm like, uh, no, no, I fucking haven't. And you're like, would, would man just try some? I was sold in 20 minutes. That's it. Yeah. 20 minutes i remember I that man i tell that story all the time because your back was yeah. so you were in such pain and then you wouldn't lie like almost immediately your back was like 90 percent better yep honestly and 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 you you personally were pivotal in, in sort of helping that recovery so like eternally grateful for you but the point of the story thanks but the point of the story is it only took 20 minutes for a great a, a, a cynical grizzled prick like me right to sort of just go oh, i'll just fucking take anything 20 minutes and i'm a raving convert and have been ever since so that's the power of like giving samples to people now how you put that sample in their hands that's the really the secret source to this right yeah so you asked me the question of like, how would I get, how would I build my brand? I would be like, my, most of my money would be spent on um, basically attacking uh, a vertical. So let's say, for example, of uh, Parkinson's. Um, Parkinson's would be fantastic. All right, well, <laughs> it's not, it's terrible, but it's a fantastic opportunity for your brand to be able to help those Parkinson's sufferers, right? Live a relatively normal life, you know? So their tremors go, uh, their anxiety goes down. You're helping those people. Yeah. So if you have a personal story, all right, to connect that to the CBD brand, right? To that story and then basically sell that story, just basically tell that story to a Parkinson's sufferer or the family of that Parkinson's sufferer, then you'll basically cream it in. You'll piss it in. You're not doing an icky sales job trying to close them. Then you're just saying, listen, mate, I know you've got Parkinson's or you know somebody. This shit works. Here's my story. So, yeah, how about it? So the trick is getting that story right to the right people to start off with. So you asked me the question, how I get the traffic? I would use Reddit to be able to do that, but I wouldn't discount using things like uh, AdWords, and I wouldn't say discount using things like uh, Facebook ads, all right? But Reddit is a great place to start. Uh, Twitter is also a fantastic place to start, but we'll talk about Reddit right now. I would basically be listening to real-time conversations people are having about their affliction or their physical challenge or mental challenge. I would be listening to those conversations and I'd be jumping in as soon as I possibly could without an icky sales pitch, but basically saying, all right, hey, listen, mate, maybe I can have a bit of a chat with you, all right, about this product, all right? So <clears throat> don't do an icky sales close. No one wants to be sold to, all right? But if you're in, say, uh, a Parkinson's subreddit, okay, then that's a good place to be starting with your CBD. And in fact, they've actually got uh, a sticky post right in there about the benefits of CBD, the benefits, the pros, the cons, they've got a sticky post in there. But that's a really fantastic place, that subreddit on Parkinson's, if that's the niche that you wanted to go down. If yeah. it was for sports people, for like faster recovery, for example, um, that would be a place to go. So r slash fitness, right? So all the fitness-based subreddits. There is a subreddit or a group, right? Think of, if you've never been to Reddit, a subreddit is analogous to, let's say, uh, a Facebook group, right? It's around a single topic or theme uh, or product or name, all right? But it's around one particular thing, all right? And the group, the subreddit is around that. So you can join that for free, okay? So Reddit is completely free. You can jump in there and then you can start joining the conversation. The golden rule on Reddit is it ain't Facebook, all right? <laughs> so no one, no one gives a shit 
all right, about what they say on Reddit, because with Facebook, you have to give a real name. With Reddit, you can be as, as anonymous as you possibly want, all right? Gotcha. So we'll, we'll talk about all of that. But back to your question of like how I would basically get my traffic, I would be listening on all the different social media channel, um, channels for basically people that are asking the question in the niche that I'm trying to target. And number two is I would be looking at an affiliate network as soon as I possibly could as well. You know, those two things, all right, joining conversations to get samples out there in the hot little hands of these people, because we're all legal drug dealers at this stage, right? Yeah. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> yeah. right? So join the conversation, put the, uh, the product in their hands with the samples with a very, very strong follow-up. Okay, and then also use an affiliate network to basically sell that. And that's uh, that's somebody else's wheelhouse. I'm sure you've got guests that can help you with that. But, um, but yeah, that's that's what I would do. Join conversations and basically push legal drugs. So uh, get a sample in <laughs> I love it, man. It's very similar to how I grew my brand and Paul Booth as well. He talks about those organic marketing strategies and it's mm. it's just real. It's just it can't get any more real than that. Just a hard a good honest day's work going in and helping people out and connecting with people.